Surprise, motherfucker. Water containers and carpet. I can get 15 or $20 for the roll of carpet, so I'll probably take that. I'll use the water containers for somebody who actually needs them. There's a lot of backpackers and uh, transients around my town, so I might do someone some good. Kerosene heater. Oh, it smells like kerosene so bad in here, too. Thankfully, I don't smoke. Some shoes. That's about it. We'll probably take the kerosene here for parts. It doesn't have the top. It doesn't have the door. But there's a Dynaglo. And it does have what looks like a good reservoir and a good shutoff switch. So, I mean, I can get five bucks in parts. No problem. Looks like an air mattress. A bunch of propane tanks, a coffee maker, clothes in the back. Yeah, this is going to take a minute. Always look in the back of the dumpster. From London, bitches. What? Cabinets are like gold. You can get 15, 20 bucks out of a cabinet here all day long for remodel purposes. People are tight. They just leave the stuff out, so I can take it. Doesn't get much more convenient than that. I love lamps. And I got nothing else, but I got a lamp. Ooh, I got a box. Electronics. Looks like an iRobot charging station. Gonna have to look that up. Oh my god, it smells so bad in here. Happy Easter weekend. Ooh. Oh, that'll sell. Normally these things suck, but with that pattern, yeah, easy money. Fucking kitty litter. I hate kitty litter. Doop, 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 doop. Hose reel and a hose. I'll bet you the hose probably leaks, but the hose reel itself is like 15 bucks. At least used anyway. Score. See, here's my take on it. My bills don't stop because it rains, so why should I stop working when it's raining? I got a cooler and a grill. The grill's not going to be worth it. I'm going to check on the cooler, though. A little lightning's not going to keep me from making money, that's for sure. Here we go. I don't even look here, but I am not stupid enough to try to drive around in tail. Well, it's covered in hail. I can probably get it to work, though. I haven't found anything in probably the last 45 minutes except more hail and more rain. So, I'll take what I can get. On the way home now, last dumpster, I found a 
actual uh, waterproof mattress made out of memory foam. Uh, the uh, Asian students when they come to town for college bring them, and they're highly sought after, so I'll make some decent money on that. But uh, everything else has pretty much been rained out or rained on or hailed on. So at this point, I might as well just get my ass home and get warm. At least I made it all the way through the night, so that's one for perseverance, although zero for common sense. Okay, YouTube, and we're back. It's no longer raining, and it's time to actually total up the final haul from last night. Now, some of this stuff, I apologize, you didn't get to see me pull out of the dumpster, but, uh, well, you can thank Mother Nature for that. Lots of rain, lots of hail, and it got bitterly cold, and by the time it was all said and done, it was too dark to film anything. So, we'll go ahead and get started here. All this, actually, is on an Asian-inspired bed. Uh, most uh, Asian college kids bring these beds to town with them if uh, they can find a way to. Usually have them shipped over, and these beds will go for like a hundred bucks. This one is a little worn and a little used, so I'll probably only get fifty bucks out of it. But nonetheless, it's great for people who uh, travel often, and it's uh, awesome if you live in transitional housing. Easy to move. All right. Welcome, Matt. It's been folded up and washed like new. Five bucks. The Light Boy, if you'll recall, from Game Boy. An easy five bucks. A pair of jeans, I'm keeping. Stainless steel shower head, <clears throat> probably five bucks. If it works, I still gotta pressure test it. And then the seat covers you saw from the video, those are an easy ten dollars all day long. Then I have a fan, that's another eight bucks. Then the shelving from the video, yep, that's gonna be an easy ten dollars. Anything Asian inspired when it comes to decor around here, double digits all day long. Vacuum cleaner, eight bucks. Hose reel. Even if it's just a leaky hose, someone will actually try to go ahead and repair it. Here in Indiana, people are kind of good at that type of thing, so easy fifteen bucks. Luggage, I'd probably get seven bucks out of it, just based on the pattern alone and the fact all the zippers are intact. Lamp, two bucks. Waffle maker, five bucks at a yard sale probably. And then. Inflatable mattress? I don't even know. It's new in the box. It's still got the patch kit. It's still got the instructions with it. So, uh, what I'm going to do with that? I'll probably just auction it off. <clears throat> see, vacuum cleaner and a steamer. That's probably an easy 10 bucks combined. The vacuum cleaner's a little older. And then the Guitar Hero controller. It's wireless. I don't have the receiver. But if you look online on eBay, you'll find that the receiver tends to go for less than the actual guitar. And the guitars go for good money. It's just shipping them out is a real pain in the ass. So all together, I'll probably get another five bucks or so. And then the cabinet, I can get ten to fifteen dollars all day long. And finally, for the stuff that rode around in the cab of the truck with me all night and uh, banged my elbows senseless, it is the iRobot Roomba charger worth thirty bucks on eBay. Uh, Falcon wireless modem. I'll probably just put that in my flea market booth for five bucks to get it out the door. Four slice toaster that does work. Beautiful score. Easy ten dollars. And a toaster oven with a broken handle. But that doesn't really phase anybody who wants a toaster oven, so another seven bucks or so. Easy money. Hey YouTube. I just wanted to go ahead and apprise you of a situation that happened in a neighboring county. Uh, there was a one-year-old baby girl abducted in the middle of the night from her home, and she was taken into the woods where she was brutally raped, tortured, and strangled to death. Uh, her name is Shaylin Ammerman. If you get time, I urge you to go out of your way a little bit and ch look for a GoFundMe online and uh, help donate to the funeral. And uh, altogether, it's just not a good time to be in the world right now. Especially for that baby, and I do hope she's in a better place. Also, uh, if you are uh, still watching my videos, I think this is the fourth one, feel free to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. I mean, even if it's just to tell me I suck, I'll appreciate it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and like I said, uh, just look online, see if you can find a GoFundMe for uh, Shaylin Ammerman. I'm sure there's a couple out there. And, uh,. I uh, wish the best for her family, and I hope they uh, grieve quickly and they're able to go ahead and get on with their lives. 
because I know that's probably what Shaylin would want for them. So uh, thanks, guys. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.